Okay, let us have chapter 4 of differential equation. Chapter 4 is exact differential equation. Now, in order for the equation to be exact, this must be satisfied. The derivative of m in terms of y must be equal to the derivative of n in terms of x. And how are we going to do that? In the equation given to us before, on the homogeneous differential equation and separation of variables, we have identified the value of m and n. In exact differential equation, it is crucial for us to determine the value of m and n, and then differentiate m in terms of y holding x constant, and differentiate n in terms of x holding y constant. And to illustrate this further, let us have example number one. So number one, test for the exactness and find the complete solution of the equation 2xy minus 3x square dx plus x square plus 2y dy is equal to zero. So this is the first part of the solution for an exact differential equation. We have to test for the exactness of the differential equation. And how are we going to do that? Let's determine the value of m. On our previous discussion, m is determined to be always with dx. In this case, your m is 2xy minus 3x squared. And your n always goes with dy. So we have n is equal to x squared plus 2y. Now, let us have the differential of m in terms of y. So if you're going to differentiate m in terms of y, we have to hold x constant, meaning we have to treat x to be constant. Okay? So if we're going to differentiate 2xy in terms of y, 2xy is... Simply, what? In terms of y, that is simply 2x. Okay? Minus 3x squared. What is the differential of 3x squared? Remember that we have to hold x constant. Meaning, negative 3x squared is a constant. And the differential of a constant is 0. Therefore, the derivative of m in terms of y is equal to 2x. Now let us have the differential of n in terms of x, this time holding y constant. So what is the differential of x squared? This is simply 2x. And since we are going to hold y constant in n, meaning 2y is a constant, and the differential of a constant is zero. As you notice, the differential of m in terms of y is equal to the differential of n in terms of x and that is equal to 2x. Therefore, the DE is exact. So what is the next step? After testing for the exactness of the differential equation, right? We have to find the solution to the differential equation. And how are we going to do that? We have number two, uh, step two. We have to integrate m in terms of x. So we have two values for the solution. We have to separate m and n and integrate independently. So we have the first value for f. F is also C in the process, okay? F is equal to the integral of M. DX plus FY. So meaning this is the integral of M. But what is M? 
we have two x y two x y minus three x square dx so if we're going to integrate this we have the integral of two x y dx integrate m in terms of x this time holding y constant so this becomes 2x square y over 2 minus 3x cube over 3 plus c but as I've told you a while ago that is f plus c but f is also c so it's okay not to add c in here because that is equated to c and this is x square y minus x cube this is the first value of f that will be the first value of f now the second value of f this time we have to use the value of n another value for f is the integral of n dy plus gx Okay, so it'll be the value of f, y, and g, x. I'll tell you that later. So this is the integral of m, but what is n? x square plus 2y dy. So if we're going to integrate x square dy, it'll give us x square y. Since x square is treated to be constant. So we have to integrate n in terms of y holding x constant in the process plus 2y square over 2 that is equal to f and eventually that is equal to c actually so we have f the second value for f is x square y plus y square so we have two values for f how are we going to determine the solution for that Take note, your first value for f is x squared y minus x cubed and x squared y plus y squared. So we have two different solutions. But we have to compare these two solutions for f. We have the common solution. So what is common on the two values of f? What is common on the two values of f is x square y. That is the common solution to the two values of f. What item or term in the solution for the two values of f that is a function of x alone? Function of x alone, we have x cubed negative negative x cubed and ah, gx plus the function of x alone and the function of y alone is y square positive all we have to do now is to combine these three solutions for us to have the final solution and we have the common solution x square y the function of x minus x cubed plus the function of y alone y square and equate that to c and this will give us the final solution okay now let's have number two or example number two again Test for the exactness and find the general solution of cosine to y minus 3x square y square dx plus cosine to y minus 
2x sin 2y minus 2x cube y dy is equal to 0. Okay, is equal to 0. Okay. Again, the first thing that we have to do here is to test for the exactness. Let's determine the value of m. m is equal to cosine 2y minus 3x squared y squared. And the value of n is equal to cosine 2y cosine 2y minus 2x sine 2y minus 6x squared y now let us differentiate m in terms of y holding x constant so what is the differential of cosine 2y? Okay. So, this is cosine u, where u is the y. Where u is the y. So, what is the differential of cosine u? That is negative sine u. But sine u is the y. So, if this is cosine u, your du must be 2 dy. So this must have 2 in here, but that should be negative. Okay? Minus 3x squared y squared. What is the differential of this? So we have 6 x squared y. Okay? What is the differential of n? in terms of x this time holding y constant since y is constant cosine 2y is a constant and the differential of a constant is 0 so we have to start on differentiating the second term of the equation sine 2y is also a constant and 2 is a constant the differential of x is the x therefore this is negative 2 sine to y minus we have to differentiate this in terms of x mali ang given ko 2 x cube y ayun so we have 6 x square y so now okay okay 6 x square y if you'll notice we have an exact de since the differential of m in terms of y is equal to the differential of n in terms of x so right after proving that the differential equation is an exact differential equation we have to go to the solution again so we have f is equal to the integral of m dx and this is the integral of m cosine 2y minus 3x square y square dx okay dx so if we're going to integrate cosine 2y dx holding y constant so this is x cosine 2y because cosine 2y is a constant. Minus 3x cubed y square over 3. And that is equal to f. Okay? So that is the first value of f. We have to cancel 3 in the process. So we have x cosine 2y minus x cubed y squared. Now let's have the second value of f. f is equal to the integral of n d 
dy. The integral of cosine 2y minus 2x sine 2y minus 2x cube y dy. Okay? So we have cosine 2y dy. The integral of cosine 2y is sine 2y. But what is dy? That should be 2 dy. So we have 2 sine 2y minus the integral of 2x sine 2y dy. So what is the integral of sine 2y dy? That is negative cosine. Okay? This must be 1 half. Okay. So we have 2 x since x is a constant cosine 2y negative this becomes positive over 2 minus 2x cube y square over 2 so we have 1 half sine 2y plus x cosine 2y minus x cube y square so this is the second solution or the second value of f again by comparison what is your common solution the common solution is x cosine 2y minus x cube y square the function of y alone and we have one half sine 2y the function of x alone since we don't have any term in the equation that is a function of x alone your gx is zero the solution therefore combining the three we have x cosine 2y minus x cube y square plus 1 half sine 2y is equal to c. That is the solution for example number 2. Okay? Now let us have example number 3. Sample number three. We have test for exactness and determine the particular solution of y e to the x y minus two y cube dx plus x e to the x y minus 6 x y square minus 2 y dy is equal to 0 so we are asked to find the, exact, uh, the particular solution here. X is 0 when Y is 2. Okay? So again, let us have the value of M. Your M here is with X. Y e to the XY minus 2Y cube. And your N is equal to x e to the xy minus 6x y square minus 2y. Okay? The derivative of m 
in terms of y holding x constant okay, is y e to the x y so we have the differential of a product so this in the form of e to the u your u is x y take note that x is a constant okay that x is a constant So if we're going to differentiate y, this becomes e to the u du. So we have your u is x, y, so we have x. x, y, e to the x, y. plus e to the xy minus 6y square. So how did this happen? Paano nangyari? Okay. I told you a while ago, this is a differential of a product. So, let us have u be equal to y and v be equal to e to the xy. Okay, your du is dy, and your dv is x e to the x y dy. Okay, so what is the formula for differential of the product? The differential of u v is equal to u d v plus v d u. u d v plus v d u. So we have y u d v x e to the x y d y plus v e to the x y dy okay so if you'll notice your dy here is on the denominator of the left side of the equation so we may remove dy in here so the differential of m in terms of y on the first term here is xy e to the xy plus e to the xy minus the differential of the second term the differential of the second term 2y cubed is simply 6y squared so are we clear on this? I hope so now let's have the differential of n in terms of x, this time holding y constant. Okay, so the first term is almost the same as on m. So this is x, y, e to the x, y. Okay, plus e to the x, y minus. Differentiating 6xy square in terms of x holding y constant is 6y square. Okay? And the differential of negative 2y, since y is a constant, is 0. If you'll notice, we have an exact de. They are the same. So after testing for the exactness, let us now find the two values for f. So f is equal to the integral of m. But what is m? y e to the xy 
minus 2y cubed dx. Holding y constant this time. So we have to integrate m in terms of x holding y constant. So if y is a constant, and we're going to differentiate this, we have an e to the u. Okay? So if your u is equal to xy, your du must be what is du? Must be y dx. Okay? So we already have that we already have this here. So we have the integral of y e to the x y dx must be equal to e to the x y minus 2x y cubed. That is the first value for f. Okay? Now let us have the second value for f. And that is the integral of n x e to the x y minus 6 x y square minus 2 y dy. Again, if we are going to integrate the first term in terms of y holding x constant here, this will become e to the x y minus 6x y cube over 3 minus 2y square over 2. So this cancels. This will become 2. Cancel that. So the second value for f is e to the xy minus 2x y cube minus y square. Okay? Now let's compare again the two solutions for f. So we have the common solution is equal to e to the xy minus 2x y cube. The function of y alone is negative y square. The function of x alone, since you don't have any function of x alone, is 0. Solution therefore is e to the xy minus 2xy cube minus y square is equal to c. But we are asked to find the particular solution where x is 0 when y is equal to 2. So we have e the 0 times 2 minus 2 times 0 2 cube minus y or y is 2 square is equal to c e to the 0 or any number raised to 0 is 1 minus 4 is equal to c c therefore is equal to 3 therefore the particular solution is e to the xy minus 2x y cube minus y square is equal to 3. That is the solution for example number 3. Okay? So that is example number 3. Now let's have example number 4. Example number four, test for the exactness and determine or find the complete solution of number four, y over x minus one dx plus the loan 
of 2x minus 2 plus 1 over y dy is equal to 0. Your m is equal to y over x minus 1. Your n is ln of 2x minus 2 plus 1 over y. The derivative of m in terms of y holding x constant okay, is 1 over x minus 1. The derivative of n in terms of x holding y constant is equal to two over two x minus two. One over y is a constant, therefore that is zero. Okay. So how's this? We may factor out two on the denominator. So we have x minus one. And we simply cancel 2. That makes that 1. So the derivative of n in terms of x is 1 over x minus 1. Therefore, we have an exact differential equation. Now let's have the first value of f. The integral of m in terms of x holding y constant. Or this is the integral of y over x minus 1 dx. Since y is a constant, put it in the sa integral sign. Okay? When we take y outside the integral sign, so this is y, the integral of dx over x minus 1. Or this is simply y ln of x minus 1. That is the first value of f. Okay. The second value of f, the integral of n, but what is n? Ln of 2x minus 2 plus 1 over y. In terms of y, holding x constant. So this is y ln of 2x minus 2 plus ln 